Asian Pacific American fashion designers are making a name for themselves. Well-known designers like Vera Wang, Josie Natori, and Trina Turk. These designers are taking center stage at a new exhibit at the Wing Luke Museum called Fashion Workroom to Runway, which features more than a dozen Asian Pacific American designers. I think it's been really great. I think people, when they come, they don't know what to expect, and hopefully they're learning more about the long history of Asian Pacific Americans in the garment and fashion industry, and then also to um, celebrate all the achievements of, of these people, too. If I had gone to school, there'd be no income. But that history, unfortunately, includes a dark side of the poor working conditions found in many factories and sweatshops. Eleven years ago, the Wing Luke Museum featured an exhibit that gave visitors a glimpse into the hard life of so many garment workers. It's that original exhibit that gave the museum the idea for this new one, which continues the story but ends on a brighter note. I think historically it provides a lot of information, a lot of eye-opening information about the, um, the sweatshops of before. It ties the sweatshops into a very hopeful ending. I was struck with how the darkness led to light, the um, lightness of all this clothing and how um, beautiful the end result of such suffering. So to me, I think that's probably the, the key message. That's really pretty. The exhibit features two dozen creations from Asian Pacific Americans. Visitors can try on some high fashion clothes and strike a pose. Or they can even express themselves by creating their own colorful sketchwork and become their own designer. I think that there's a lot of designers who are overlooked and um, there's so much beautiful color and um, beautiful imagery in these designs and I feel like a lot of them tell stories that are untold. Several local designers like Malia Peoples are featured at the exhibit, as well as designers like Trina Turk, who have a local connection. So this is Trina Turk's dress, and um, Trina's connection to Seattle is that she um, studied at the University of Washington in the apparel design pro program. Um, and the dress that she loaned for the exhibit is a one-of-a-kind dress. I called it Passage to Shanghai and I did a whole collection based on the Chinese culture. Creating original dresses is something local designer Luli Yang knows about. Her wedding and couture gowns are breathtaking and many are one of a kind. So this is all hand beaded on silk chiffon. Yang first began her career in graphic design, getting her degree from the University of Washington. But after about 10 years, she went back to her first love, fashion. And I started a studio then, a very small one in Fourth and Pike building. And I pretty much started organically, one client after another. I had not very many. Nobody knew me. Word of mouth was the only way to go, and doing good work was what continued uh, my inspirations and, and uh, I believe is how my business survived. Yang, who came to America 30 years ago from Taiwan, says she's excited to be part of this important exhibit that's not only featuring the work of Asian Pacific American fashion designers, it's also featuring their great success stories, including her own. It is a great honor to be there, not only to be in the museum itself, I have great respect for the museum, but being seen next to the other designers who've been doing it for much longer and much more, I believe, successful, successfully than I have. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.